Welcome to Media Memories. A look back at the recorded highlights of movies, radio, Broadway, news events, and television. Brought to you by the Communication Department at Grandview College. I'm your host, Stephen Winsenberg. Don't touch that dial. We haven't gone hillbilly at Media Memories. We're playing Iowa music today. And believe it or not, this is one of the traditional Iowa songs. Listening to all sorts of Iowans, contemporary and from the good old days, on this week's Media Memories. the dill pickle rag and it's from an album called folk voices of iowa we're going to listen to a little bit more of that we're going to go on and listen to some of the actual hillbilly music this is called 21 years featuring elvin windy wenman a janitor at university of iowa Say stand up, boys, dry up your tears. You're sentenced to Nashville for 21 years. So kiss me goodbye, babe, and say you'll be mine. 21 years, babe, it's a mighty long time. I look down that railroad far as you can see. And keep right on waving your farewell to me The steam from the whistle, the smoke from the stack I know you'll be true, babe, until I get back Maybe that's about all you can take of that one. That is called 21 Years, vocal and electric guitar by Elvin Windy Wenman. Born in southern Illinois, he lived in Iowa most of his life, and at the time of this recording in the 1960s, he was a janitor at the University of Iowa. And on this album called Folk Voices of Iowa, uh, the person who collected these notes that many famous singers were janitors. And uh, that's interesting. It's a, it's a fascinating album that we got from uh, Central Campus, Des Moines Central Campus, uh, when they were getting rid of some of their record albums. It's called Folk Voices of Iowa from University of Iowa Press. It came out in the middle 1960s. You're tuned to Media Memories. Please don't touch that dial because we've got some more contemporary things to come, including this woman who was very popular in the 1960s, so popular that she was on the Johnny Carson show numerous times, and he called her a super singer. She's from Iowa, and her name is Marilyn May. If they could see me now, that little gang of mine Here in this fancy place, I'm gonna have a time I'd like those stumble bums to see for a fact The kind of top drawer, first-rate chums I attract All I can say is, while we look at where I am Tonight I landed, pow, right in a pot of jam What a build-up, holy could see me now, that little dusty groove, to around this million dollar chicken coop, 
I'd hear my buddy saying she must have paid a lot of loot to have that suit specially made. All I can say is, wow, wait till the riff and rap. See how they ask me now to sign my autograph. What a setup. Holy cow, they'd never believe it if my friends could see me now. Tell you for a fact, right here's where I belong, where I can do my act and go into my song. I hear my body saying, crazy what gives, tonight she's living like the other half lives. To think the highest ground should come to look at me, I want to tell you now, it's you I'm glad to see, what a setup, holy cow. It shouldn't take you long to figure out the Iowa connection here if you can figure out the person who's conducting this marching band. Think about it. figured it out who do you think would be conducting that who would be an iowa connection the 76 trombones bring any memories back yes it's meredith wilson he conducted this uh, in the 1960s that is a tribute to john philip Sousa. and of course meredith wilson played in john philip Sousa's band for three seasons when he was 18 19 and 20 years old and uh, he loved marches as you can tell from his music from the music man and instead of uh, going on and playing something from The Music Man, why not find something else that Meredith Wilson wrote? The Insinkable Molly Brown was his other big Broadway hit. It starred Tammy Grimes on Broadway, and it had one big popular song come out of that production. And it's called I Ain't Down Yet. I ain't down yet. You're down, Molly. Holler, Uncle. I ain't never shouting Uncle to you and nobody, because I ain't never down. Come on, Molly. You're tuckered. Why don't you quit? Sure, I'm tuckered, and I might give out, but I won't give in. How can anybody say that I'm down? Look, I'm thinking. I'm thinking very hard how to break through. Maybe here, maybe there, maybe no place. But there'll come a time when nothing, nobody, 
Wants me down like I wants me up. Up where the people are, up where the talking is, up where the joke's going on. Now look at here, I am important to me. Ain't no bottom to no pile. I mean much more to me than I mean to anybody I ever knew. Certainly more than I mean to any sidewalk yazzy hampers like you guys. Go ahead, break my arm. Me say, Uncle, Poof. doesn't make a bit of difference for you to keep saying I'm down till I say so too. Did you ever try stepping on a piss amp? Well, there's one now. Jumping, stumping, thinking you got him, thinking he's quick. He don't think so. There it goes. And you can be positive, sure I'm as good as any piss amp that ever lived. Oh, I hate that word down. But I love that word up. Because up means hope, and that's just what I got. Hope for someplace better. Someplace I don't know. Cleaner, shinier. Hell, if I got eat catfish heads all my life. Can I have more for plate? Just once. And the red silk dress When there's girl enough for me to wear one And then someday With all my might and all my might I'm gonna learn to read and write I'm gonna see what there is to see So if you go from nowhere On the road to somewhere And you meet anyone, you'll know it's me. I'm gonna move from place to place and find a house with a golden stair. And if that house is red and has a big brass bed, I'm there. Well, now, who do you think you are? I can be anybody. I can be a queen if I wanna be. We've just been wrestling with a queen, if you please. Who'd recognize with all that dirt on her knees? And with her mop head and all them toes. And that contraption she calls her nose. A queen can never be queen without any clothes. So here's the fanciest rule that you'll almost line for line a repeat from the music man the opening is is like trouble we got trouble right here in river city and then they do the the uh, melody to the song and then they have a counterpoint to the melody and uh, meredith wilson certainly uh, got in a rut but it was a very good rut because it was good music you're tuned to media memories a presentation of the communication department at grandview college and uh, we had something from university of iowa before and to balance it out how about something from iowa state and i didn't want to pick the fight song even though i do have the fight song here I didn't want to get uh, University of Iowa or UNI people upset at me. So instead, let's pick uh, something that the band in Glee Club released from Iowa State. And it's just called Alma Mater. Very beautifully done. Reminds you of some of the good old college days. Maybe some of the things that you see on TV shows when they go back to the 40s or 50s and you think about what college used to be like.
Iowa is our theme this week on Media Memories, and we've been trying to find uh, some music and people who are tied into the state, and we found musical groups, we found singing artists. What about a television show? Now, I know you think about Tom and Roseanne, but have you ever thought of the name Norman Lear as being tied to Iowa? He came about 20 years ago or so and made a movie here called Cold Turkey. And uh, Wendell Jarvis from the Iowa Film Commission told me that Norman Lear still has a bank account here in Iowa that he opened when he was making that movie. The movie starred Dick Van Dyke and a number of other popular performers. It was quite a hit. And so Norman Lear has kept a bank account here in Iowa. Norman Lear also created one of the most popular shows in TV history, All in the Family. And for this week's famous first episode, let's listen to a portion of that uh, beginning of the first episode of All in the Family when Archie and Edith come home and are greeted by Mike and Gloria on this week's Media Memories. I don't want to make no World War III out of this. What do you call all this? The table's all set with the good glasses and all. Oh, it's for our anniversary. Look, Archie. Gloria and Mike, they've made us a brunch. A what? A brunch. A brunch, it figures. She's reading Cosmopolitan again. <laughs> You're early. <laughs> so are you. Are we just going to go sit down over there? Yeah, I'll bet. 11.10 on a Sunday morning. Uh, happy, happy anniversary, anniversary to you. you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, to you. Happy anniversary dear Your mom and dad. Happy, happy anniversary, anniversary to you. Oh, my. Archie, oh, ain't this nice? Yeah. Five minutes more, we would have got it remote from the bedroom. <laughs> Mom, would you tell him it's normal? Oh, Archie. <laughs> Why do you want to pick on him when you just had such a nice surprise? They was the ones that had the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> used to be the daylight hours was reserved for the respectable things of life. <laughs> Things are no different now than they ever were. What are you talking about? In my day, I was able to keep certain things in a proper perspective. <laughs> That's Archie Bunker offending everyone on the first episode of All in the Family, produced by Norman Lear. Another Hollywood type who's come to Iowa more recently is Tiny Tim. He's now living here in a hotel in downtown Des Moines, and of course in 1968 he became a huge success uh, with his song Tiptoe Through the Tulips and his marriage on The Tonight Show uh, with Miss Vicky. That, by the way, is still the highest rated episode of The Tonight Show. It even beat uh, Johnny Carson's leaving uh, and all the other things that have happened on The Tonight Show. It's still the highest rated episode. So let's listen now, if you can stand it, to a couple of minutes of Tiny Tim singing his original hit that was first recorded by someone else in 1929. met Tiny Tim this past year. He's quite a gentleman, very respectful. He makes sure to call you Mr. He is uh, 
people say kind of a clean freak, but a uh, nice guy. This is an Iowa theme. We're going to finish up with a more recent popular performer from Iowa. He plays a lot locally. His name is Pat McManus. He released an album called Your Hometown, which includes a lyric that says, We need lots of love in Des Moines, as we finish up on this week's Media Memories. to you by the Communication Department at Grandview College. I'm your host, Stephen Winsenberg, inviting you to join us again next time for more Media Memories. Media Memories.